Hello everyone, so I was thinking about talking about the differences between the recent iPhones and the iPhone 4, the iPhone 4S and the new iPhone 5. So you may think that there is not such big difference, but I would say that there are big uh, difference between the iPhone 4S and the iPhone 5 than it was between the iPhone 4 and the iPhone 4S at least. Um, so it's going to be a bit thinner, 7.6 millimeters instead of 9.3. It's going to be lighter, one, 112 grams instead of 140. A little bit big, bigger screen, four inch, mm -hmm. uh, bigger resolution, but the same PPI. Uh, 4G LTE network, um, but the 4G LTE network will not be available in all countries. For example, here where I live in Sweden, mm -hmm. you will not be able to use the 4G network. And it will be compati compatible with the nano SIM and not the micro. I think it goes pretty fast. Uh, I, I just have the regular SIM card. Micro SIM came around there, iPhone 4, and on iPhone 4S it was Micro SIM, and now there's Nano SIM. I don't even know what Nano SIM is. So, anyway, and uh, there is a camera that doesn't seem to be improved in any way here. 8 megapixel camera, auto focus, tap to focus, blah 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 blah, panorama. FaceTime camera a little bit improved and you can now FaceTime over the 3G network or the 4G network instead of just being able to do it over the Wi-Fi and uh, a little bit better video recording you can now take still photos while recording video on the iPhone 5 but uh, not on the iPhone 4S and it will be able to face detect which is a great feature if you use Facebook and stuff um, I'm guessing that you will be able to tag or I don't know maybe that's not on video recording so let's just leave that unsaid and uh, they have uh, redesigned their AirPods Apple AirPods earphones yeah yeah anyway um, it seems to be some uh, kind of earphones that uh, is in-ear instead of out-ear or whatever you should call it. Um, and there is this thing that have been uh, changed, which will be a big change. Since uh, the, um, uh, the other iPhones still use the 30 pin connector. While well, this new iPhone 5 will be using the lightning connector, whatever that is, I never heard of it before. Apple is good on making stuff that uh, you never heard of before. Anyway, so this 30 pin connector is used on all iPhone stuff and stuff. Uh, so they all the manufacturers uh, will be forced to make new stuff with the lightning connector instead of the instead of the 30 pin connector which kind of sucks and the battery life will be pretty much the same a little bit improved on the browsing time and and the standby time and you will be able to pick this iPhone 5 up with 16GB, 32 or 64 and iPhone 4S will now be only available in 60GB and iPhone 4S uh, and iPhone 4 will still be available on the 8GB version. So yeah, that's pretty much all. Bye!